we start with details about a brand new task force in Richmond County hoping to cut down on domestic violence in our community. Earlier this week, the district attorney's office and Safe Homes of Augusta held a summit of sorts to organize a plan of action. The first time officials and community leaders have come together like this for a coalition in a decade. News 12's Hallie Turner live from our newsroom with how this task force came to be and how it plans to help. Domestic violence survivors say a filing for abuse report is the only half of the battle. Following through with the justice system is the next. Leaders say it's going to take a community effort to do so. Both of his hands wrapped around my throat and looked me straight in my face and told me that tonight was the night he was going to kill me. I literally thought this is probably it. Lying in her own blood, shards of glass shattered where her abuser had thrown her into a table. Becky says she was hopeless. Thought was none of it was big enough or sharp enough to stab him and kill him before he killed me. After five years of not following through with the legal side of things, she was determined she would be a survivor of domestic violence. Following through with the legal process is hard. You know, you kind of don't really know a lot about what's going on because often there's not a lot of updates to give, like hurry up and wait. Documents, pictures, court appearances, phone calls, and more made a difference in Becky's case. I was the nail in the coffin for my case. I was keeping all of this evidence for year after year. It's a goal to help bring other victims to the side of survivorship. Becky is joining Safe Homes, law enforcement, and other agencies in the creation of a domestic violence task force. The goal of the task force is to also look at the fatalities that have happened to see were there instances where we could have helped and changed things, see where we can improve upon. The Richmond County Sheriff's Office says they are taking it a step further to help both sides. Focus deterrence program, they go through the anger management and the marital counseling together. Then maybe you could you could dismiss the cases. The focus has to be on protecting you know, the victim of the abuse. And it doesn't stop here. A village to raise a child, I think it takes a village to help a domestic violence survivor or, or someone who's suffering in silence with domestic violence. Safe Homes and the Sheriff's Office say it's so important for those victims to follow through with the reports and the legal process. The task force is there to guide you and help you through each step of the way. And the next task force meeting is on May 16th, and their goal is getting people signed up for these committees so that they can start seeing the change throughout Richmond County. Really powerful survivor stories. Hallie, thanks for sharing those with us. A mother.